In this bubble tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can add in a loading animation while your bubble app makes the API call to the OpenAI API. This is a great bit of uh, UI and UX improvement that you can make to your app because sometimes users just get a bit confused when they, uh, they click a button and it appears like nothing happens. And yes, bubble, if you're doing a, um, a client side workflow, yes, Bubble puts a you know a exploding bar going across the top of the screen, um, but you can improve upon that uh, so that your users know that they're getting something good and that they need to wait for it, which is is all important when you're using OpenAI with Bubble. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial how to do that with uh, Lottie animations. And uh, Lottie files has become a popular format for animations on the web because they're lightweight. They're basically JSON files, uh, and um, they they scale quite nicely too. So they've got a number of advantages over GIFs or other image animation files. Uh, so to add in a Lottie animation, I need to add in a plugin. Uh, and I'm just gonna pick one of these. This one's got a lot of users. Let's try that one. Uh, and add in Lottie. Just make this 300 by 300. Obviously, you adapt it to the right size. Uh, and then a Lottie file. Now, if you want complete control over where you're hosting it, you can download the Lottie file. You could upload it to your bubble storage. Um, but in this example, uh, I'm just going to pick one of these. Uh, and I am going to uh, link directly to it. Into one of my workspaces in Lottie. And I think I need to click this one here of JSON. Uh, so then I paste that in there as the dynamic link and I'm gonna preview my app to see if it loads in the Lottie animation correctly. Brilliant, yes it does. So how do I get it to show during my API call and no other time? So first of all, I've made sure that my, the, wherever I'm displaying my results, I have this unticked, the element is visible on page load and I tick uh, collapse when hidden. And then on my Lottie element, now that I've added that in, I'm going to also say it is not visible on page load and it's collapsed, it's went hidden. And then I need to add just a couple of steps or maybe three steps to my submit button. So the first thing I'm going to do when the button's clicked is show my Lottie animation. And I'm going to show that first. This is where the app makes a call to the uh, OpenAI API. Uh, and so this is actually where the waiting occurs. And then this is, in this case, I'm using a custom state. I'm saving it as a custom state in order to display the results on my page. Um, and so I'm gonna add into here, uh, hide Lottie, because I know that it's completed the wait from OpenAI here. And then I'm gonna show, in this case, I'm using a multi-line input. This just happens to be the element I'm using to display the reply from OpenAI. So let's preview. And I'll go to Twitter again and I'll say, what are the limitations of bubble.io? So I see my animation there. I'm also getting the bubble loading bar across the top and then the animation gives way to the results. Um, so there you have it. That is how you can use a loading animation to improve the UI in your bubble app. And if you're learning bubble, you need to check out our website, planetnoco.com, where we've got hundreds of bubble tutorial videos, some which you cannot find on YouTube. We're just, we're hoping to create the best resource for learning bubble out there.